Welcome back. National Board of Accreditation NBA. We are discussing self assessment report format as per the revised manual of Taiwan Institutions July 2024 document with effect from 1st August 2024. In our previous videos, we covered criterion 1 and criterion 2. Now, in this, we will see criterion 3 that is outcome based assessment. So, criterion 3 outcome based assessment carries 120 weightage. Let us see what are its submetrices and their details as per SAR document. Criterion 3 outcome based assessment is divided into the following eight sub criterions. The first sub criterion 3.1. Evaluation of continuous assessment with respect to assignments, unit tests, midterm exams, etc. carries 10 weightage. Then 3.2, evaluation of the semester end examination named as SEE question papers, which carries 10 weightage. Then 3.3, .3, evaluation of laboratory work and workshops, continuous and SEE carries 10 weightage. Then 3.4, evaluation of industrial training and internship with respect to continuous and SEE evaluation carries 10 points. Then 3.5, evaluation of projects which carries 20. Then 3.6, evidence of addressing sustainable development goals that is SDG carries 10 points. Then 3.7, Attainment of course outcomes carries 25 points. This is again divided into 3.7.1. Describe the assessment tools and processes used to gather the data for the evaluation of course outcomes carries 5 points. Then 3.7.2. Record the attainment of course outcomes of all courses with respect to set attainment levels which carries 20 weightage. Then the next uh, main sub criterion is 3.8 attainment of program outcomes and program specific outcomes, which carries 25. Then the total uh, weightage of criterion 3 is 120. Here you can observe one point in criterion 1 and 2, we covered uh, all these uh, components actually. Now the evaluation part is given specifically in criterion 3, that is outcome based assessment with respect to uh, our internal assessment, uh, uh, external assessment, laboratory assessment, industrial training and internship assessment, project assessment, then uh, outcomes attainment. All this uh, we already covered in criteria 1 and 2. Now the evaluation is specifically included in criterion 3. That's why it is called as assessment, outcome based assessment. Now let us see all this as per the SAR manual. So first 3.1, evaluation of continuous assessment of assignments, unit tests, midterm exams, etc. as per your curriculum, whatever the evaluation components are there, which carries 10 points. Here we have to describe the process of evaluation followed during continuous assessment to maintain quality of assessment. Then a constructive alignment of questions with COs and hence POs and PSOs. So details to be kept in the course phase for evaluation. Then 3.2, evaluation of the semester end examination question paper, 10 weightage. Here we have to describe the process of setting semester end exam paper and their evaluation to maintain quality of assessment. Constructive alignment of questions with respect to COs and POs PS was combination and also we have to include all the details uh, in course file for evaluation. Then 3.3 evaluation of laboratory work and workshops. So with respect to this uh, a continuous and uh, a SE evaluation which carries 10 writers. Here we have to provide details of rubrics used to assess learnings in laboratories and workshops linking with COs and POs or PS was targeted. We have to provide evidence of student assessments through rubrics. 
to be kept in course file for evaluation. In course file, we have to maintain all these evaluation documents. The next one, 3.4, evaluation of industrial training or internship. So they continues under SEE evaluation, carries 10 points. Here we have to provide details of rubrics used to assess learnings in internships and industrial trainings and also linking POS and PSOs targeted for attainment. Here we have to provide evidence of student assessments through rubrics which can be kept in course files for evaluation. Then the next uh, sub parameter is 3.5 evaluation of projects which carries 28 days here we have to provide details of rubrics used to assess learnings in projects linking POs and PSOs targeted for attainment we have to provide evidence of student assessments through rubrics to be kept in course files for evaluation then 3.6 evidence of addressing sustainable development goals that is SDG which carries 10 weightage. We have to provide details of student work carried out to meet sustainable development goals, such as research work, project work, student activities, etc. Evidence in the form of a portfolio to be available during the NBA visit. Then 3.7, attainment of course outcomes, which carries 25. This is divided into two sub-parameters. The first one is 3.7.1. Describe the assessment tools and processes used to gather the data for evaluation of course outcomes, which carries five weightage. Here we have to provide, describe different assessment tools with respect to semester end examinations, mid-semester tests, laboratory examinations, student portfolios, etc. whatever the components uh, related evaluation you are following. So uh, to measure the student learning and hence attainment of course outcomes. The complete process with respect to all these parameters we have to provide. Then uh, we have to record the attainment levels of courses. So 3.7.2 record the attainments of course outcomes of all courses with respect to set attainment levels which carries 20 weightage. Here we have to provide whatever the program you are seeking for accreditation. That program shall set course outcome attainment levels for each course. Then measuring uh, course outcome attainment through continuous internal evaluation and semester end examination. So uh, needs to be a detail as per your evaluation. Then target may be stated in terms of percentage of students getting more than class average of marks or set by the program in each of the associated COs in the assessment instrument with respect to midterm test, assignments, mini projects, reports and presentations, etc. as mapped with COs. Then uh, the next one is 3.8, attainment of program outcomes and program specific outcomes. After attainment of course outcomes, then you can do attainment of program outcomes and program specific outcomes. So, uh, which carries 25 weightage. Here, the attainment of POs and PSOs with respect to direct assessment, which is based on student performance and indirect assessment, which is based on surveys or feedbacks are to be presented through program level course, PO and PSO matrices as indicated. The results are listed in the following tabular format of POs and PSOs attainment. So first you can take all the courses of the curriculum, uh, uh, whichever the program you are seeking for accreditation, that uh, particular curriculum of one particular latest uh, graduated batch you can consider for that batch, uh, all semesters course-wise, uh, 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 PO and uh, PSO, uh, direct attainment values uh, needs to be included in this table. So, uh, uh, for example, here course C101, uh, PO1 attainment value, PO2 attainment and so on, PO11. Similarly, we have to do same for PSOs also, like all courses we have to do. Then uh, uh, direct attainment as for the formula uh, defined. So, PO wise, uh, calculate the direct attainment value for that particular program. So then uh, after uh, finding uh, direct attainment, then you can uh, find indirect attainment. The following table shows uh, the format of indirect attainment. 
so name of the survey uh, you are uh, using po12 uh, po11 uh, for example survey 1 uh, program exit survey survey 2 uh, alumni survey survey 3 employer uh, uh, survey then survey 4 uh, parent feedback etc so the stakeholders uh, surveys we have to consider so then uh, their responses again with respect to level 1 to 3 if not correlated i fun so or uh, calculated uh, based on the computation formulas then you can take uh, indirect attainment uh, average values of all these surveys so once after getting uh, direct attainment and indirect attainment as per the uh, distribution of direct indirect uh, as per the formula of computation of PO attainment uh, so you can uh, calculate the overall uh, program level uh, attainment of all the POs and PSOs. So here uh, in the previous table, we mentioned the courses C1012, uh, uh, C409. That is for, these are all indicative courses. C101, C102 are indicative courses in the first year. Similarly, C409 is the final year course. So first numeric digit indicates year of study. And the remaining two digits indicate course numbers with respect to year of study. These are actually NBA predefined. So uh, we have to enter in this nomenclature only. Uh, based on this, uh, the art uh, articulation matrices automatically generated with the same uh, course codes. Then direct attainment of POs and PSOs determined by taking average across all courses addressing the POs and PSOs. Then this is the indirect attainment. So in the in the indirect attainment table, we have to mention the type of survey conducted and the location of its source. So indirect attainment levels of PO, PS4, which is determined based on the student exit survey, employer survey, etc. Just now we mentioned some examples. So after uh, uh, filling uh, all the course PO outcomes, then uh, calculate uh, direct attainment. Then uh, all the surveys uh, uh, response value values can be uh, filled here. Then indirect attainment is calculated average of all these surveys. So then another table overall PO and PSO attainment value. So automatically uh, in the NBA portal uh, system calculates. So here we have to enter direct attainment, then indirect attainment value of all the POs. Then uh, there is one option calculate overall attainment. Whenever you can click on calculate overall attainment, the overall attainment is uh, computed. Same uh, for uh, PSOs also, you can do in the similar fashion. So that is about uh, criterion three outcome based assessment. This is the NBA official website. So www.nbaind.org. So in the home page, you can click on accreditation documents. So uh, under documents, you can find uh, a tire one of uh, undergraduate uh, engineering programs. So there a uh, new self-assessment report and uh, its uh, pre-qualifiers available there. Evaluation guidelines not yet released. In upcoming video, we will see the next criterion that is criterion for students performance demo. Stay tuned to be continued in upcoming videos.